We are celebrating the 300th episode of this incredible show. I woke up this morning and thought, 300? Like, it feels like yesterday. It's a piece of television history now. I think it's a testimony, actually, to the staying power of the storytelling. It's an incredible honor to be part of such a pioneering force in television. On some days, you feel the history, and you feel like you've been here forever. And then other days, you feel like it hasn't been 14 years. You feel like it's flown by. If you are lucky enough to win the lottery and land on a series, you wish, pray, hope for, like, 100 episodes. So I'm really excited to be included in this 300 milestone. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever be part of something that reaches 300 again. In terms of life, work, blessing, this is kind of the pinnacle. It's a really great episode, the 300th episode, because it has this very nostalgic feeling. It seems like five seconds ago, we were the interns hiding in the tunnels. Oh, God, I want to die. It feels a little bit like old Grey's, and then mm -hmm. it's fun, and it's funny, and it's refreshing and yet it still has that heart that Grays has. Hey! We're in, slow down! It's like an homage to the whole show. I told you it was a rusty death trap. There will be characters, there will be situations that will make fans recall something in the past. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? It becomes sort of this nod to where we've been and where we are and where we're going to. What is that? I think we both know what that is. That's really what this 300th episode is about, honoring the show. I'm super proud of it as a 300th episode because I think it embraces all these different aspects of what Grey's is. Oh my god! Both past, present, and also future. I need some boss and a non-rebreather now, please! Sometimes you wonder, can we be fresh and new at 300 episodes? Pretend I'm your friend, the one I remind you of. And I think what's great is that we keep discovering, yeah, we can. Please, Dr. Gray, save me like I'm your friend.